Do you feel when you sing your national anthem a shift of energy, a sudden shift of how you feel? The point that I'm trying to make with this is that there are triggers which touch your higher emotion. It could be national anthem, it could be something else. I just picked up national anthem because everyone learns this in their childhood. It could be something else, but anything that touches your higher emotion suddenly opens up your heart, opens up your energies, opens up you to a completely different level of energies and these stimulus, these triggers could be on your heart, they could be on your life energies if you are in a situation of a crisis, they could be on your sexuality, they could be anything and suddenly you are experiencing a different rise, a different surge of energy in your body, in your mind. No matter how tired you are right now, if I tell you the building is on fire right now, each one of you will just run your, for your life and would run as fast as you can. And if I would say there is something chasing you, you'll keep on running much faster, much longer than you could ever do otherwise. Where is this energy coming from? What is this energy? Fear. Fear? Survival. Survival? That would be in the situation of crisis, in the situation of when a soldier is going out and, and fighting and, and killing others, he's also in a certain high of energy where everything is fine for him, he do, it doesn't matter what the obstacles are, he just keeps on going further and fighting. All this energy, where is this coming from? Fear is a trigger of it, but where is this energy coming from? Sorry? Desire to live. Desire to live? It's, is it coming from the food that you eat? Yes? No? Partly yes? If this would just be the energy coming from your food, then those people who extraordinarily survived situations of crisis, days without food, stuck, in an ocean or in the jungle or somewhere, they would not be able to make it if this was just food. I'm not saying food is not giving this energy, but there is another source of energy in each one of us that remains dormant, that remains inaccessible, which we don't use it in our daily life. For our daily functioning, we eat the food, those 2,000 calories or whatever number of calories that you count for yourself, if you do, and that is utilized for your daily requirements. But in extraordinary situations, you somehow access extraordinary energy. And that extraordinary energy, I'm trying to point out to that, where is that coming from? It's all inside of you somewhere. 